three or four different things that happened in Judges. We know that one thing was they didn't teach their children, and that was a big downfall that they had. And what would happen? What happened to them since they didn't teach their children? Somebody tell me one thing that happened. Um, every man did what was right in his own eyes. Excellent. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Look at quote. So every woman too. So. Yes. Okay. That's right. <laughs> and uh, we can we know right now that uh, when we all do what we think is right is usually not. So. Uh, this was a downfall of theirs, and they began to be incorporated with the people around them. God had told them, what, what did God tell them to do when they went into the promised land um, that would keep them from being contaminated? What were they supposed to do? They were to kill all men, women, and children. To kill all men, women, and children. And why would that be something that God would want? Get rid of the problem. Get rid of the problems, get rid of the false gods, the pagans, and so forth, so that the people of his, his people would not be you know, lured into paganism. Okay? And after they would get all incorporated into the lives of and worship of these pagans, what would happen to them? When they first went in there, they were strong and they would take over everything. But after they would get all incorporated with them, marry those women and all this different stuff, who would become the top people? The people that had been in the land in the first place. They began to be the top people and they began to persecute God's people. And then after they would be persecuted for so long, they would call on God. And what would God send them? A deliverer or a what? A judge. judge. Okay. Now, these were the different things that happened in Judges, but there was a good story in the book of Judges. And this was the story of Ruth and Naomi. Okay. I'll just give you a little highlight of this and then we'll go into our movie. Okay. We have to make sure that when we are searching for a partner, that we find one that's going to really love God and going to trust in God. We find that the person in this story didn't have that much confidence in what God was doing, didn't trust in God, and went out on his own. Okay, Limelech took his wife and family. They go to another land because there was famine in the land. Sometimes when we have famine, we just uh, we think that things should be better, but sometimes God is teaching us something. Sometimes he brings us down so that we can depend on him. And Elimelech didn't want to do this, so he packs up his family and he goes to a uh, heathen land. And when you do this and you have children, your children are sometimes lured by the people that they're living around. And we have to really watch that. Even in schools, we have to watch our children because I used to feel like and still do that schools are the devil's workshop. When we're at home, we teach our children to love God and so forth. When they're in school, they're taught a whole different program. And actually, they're in school longer than they are, you know, waking, waking hours than, than at home. So we have to really work towards teaching our children what the Lord wants them to do because the schools really don't. So they're in a land where there's difference in teaching, and we know that God didn't like that. Who read the story to find out what happened to Elimelech? Well, the wrong story. So we, <laughs> we'll find out as we go in here that God didn't like him going and not trusting in him, not staying in Bethlehem where he, he was. When God sent the Israelites into the promised land, they all had in 